Hi, welcome to the Monday mini makeover series. Today we're going to be doing the medicine cabinet. I'm really excited that you were able to join me today. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Wendy Brown and I'm the owner, owner of Seeking Sanity um, and I'm a professional organizer. And so what I thought was, since I can't get into my clients' homes and work side by side with them right now with our social distancing things that are going on, what I would do is I would target some projects around my own home that I know are hot spots for other people too, and we could work on those together and do some virtual organizing live. So I'm not going to put on any music here at my house just for the recording sake, but if you're going to jump in and join me, I hope you've got your comfy clothes on. I said get comfy clothes and get a get your drink of choice. I've got my Coke right here, so I'm ready to go. Go ahead and turn on some music, whatever makes you kind of feel like moving and getting things done, and we will go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do, let me get my camera put up, and here's my little disclaimer while we're getting started, is I am a professional organizer. I am not a videographer or even a Facebook person so much, so this is going to be a little rough, but we'll make do the best we can. So the first thing we're going to do, as you can see, this is my medicine cabinet. There are some remnants of organization from the past, but I've had a lot of people moving in and out of my house, and so I've got stuff up here. I don't know what's up here, so we'll just discover what's going on in this medicine cabinet together. So the first step, always, when we're going to organize the space is to empty it out. So I'm just going to pull all of this out of here and put it on my counter. So I invite you to get into your medicine cupboards and just start pulling things out and get everything out on the counter. We're not going to worry about looking at it right now. We're just going to get this space nice and opened up and empty and clean. So a lot of times these spaces get neglected because they're small and they're kind of tucked away. And if we're not getting into the medicine cabinet a lot, then it's one of those things that we've got something else going on or something else on our mind. When we do get in there, we think, oh, I'll get to it later. And honestly, it's really hard to get to things later because we've always got so many things and so many priorities pulling us in a lot of different directions. Now, you might have a smaller medicine cabinet than this. You might have a larger medicine cabinet than this. So if we move through the video and are getting things done a little faster than you can keep up with, this is going to be on Facebook, so you can always go back and rewatch the video and kind of pause it and do it at your own speed. I'm trying to kind of hurry and get these things out of here quickly so that we can move on to the next step. What I do want you to know is that usually when I'm doing these kinds of projects with a client, we're kind of pulling things out and assessing what they are as we get them out a lot of times so that we can make the process move a little bit faster. But I want to be able to show you each of the steps that need to happen as we're going through and organizing the space. So I'm going to slow the process down just a little bit and take it one step at a time. The other thing to be mindful of since we're doing a medicine cabinet is what to do with unused and unwanted medication. The FDA says that the safest way to dispose of expired, unused, or unwanted medications is to take them to a drug take-back location. If there is not a drug take-back location near you, then unless it's a very potent, very high risk uh, medication, they want you to um, go ahead and put that in the trash, but there's ways to do that. So here's our collection of everything that was at, in the cupboard 
Now it's down out on the countertop. And the next step is to start doing some sorting. And I'm just going to kind of push this out of the way a little bit because I was quickly trying to get it out and didn't do a very good job of congregating things in a way that left me some counter space. So what we don't want to have in here is we don't want to have expired medications. Now I've got things like this child Imodium. The youngest person in my house, well, my baby grandson is here right now um, for a little while, but usually we're all adults. And so this came with my daughter and it's not something that I need. Um, the expiration date is April of 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the no pile. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check the dates on all of these medications. And sometimes they're kind of hard to find. And you're, if they're good, you want to hang on to them. And as you're doing that, we want to put them into categories. So you noticed that when I pulled this out of here, I had some baskets. And that's because I'd already kind of done this process once before. But we're going to group like things together. And how you do that is going to depend on what medications you have in your household and who's using them. So I'm just going to switch this camera around to talk to you for a minute. So um, what you want to do is you want to separate these things into categories that make the most sense to you. So in our family, I have a bunch of medications I need to take. My husband has a bunch of medications he needs to take. And so we have it sorted out by his medication, my medication, and then we have kind of a family um, cold and allergy bin, and then we have all of our first aid stuff actually in a completely different cupboard. But I've been in some clients' homes where they want all of the children's, because they have small children, so the children's medication, the Tylenol and all of that sort of thing is, is different. And so they keep all of the children's medication together and all of the adults' medication together. So the really important thing that I want to make sure everybody understands is that there's really no right or wrong way to do it. It just needs to make sense to you and to the other people in your household. So if you're not the only one getting into the medications, you might want to consult with um, a spouse or whoever else is getting into this cupboard because it needs to make sense to them too because they need to be able to find it. So it's going to take a little bit of time for me to go through and sort all of these medicines out. And that's going to make for a kind of a boring <laughs> video. So I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. But like I said, I do already have some things pre-sorted out. And so now we're going to talk about once you get those things sorted out, what to do with your space. So we're going to come back over to the cabinet over here. I'm going to switch this camera around. Okay, and you'll notice that I have this shelf in place here. That's so that I can double down on the storage in this space. I'm going to tell you a little trick about those shelves. They come, if you buy them from the container store, they come in two sizes. The size that you'll get at most stores, which you could get these shelves anywhere, really, the height on those is about five inches tall. If you have a taller cabinet or you have some taller bottles or things like that and you need more space, then you can actually get those and they're tall sized and they're right around, I believe, eight or nine inches tall at the container store. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this camera back down for a quick minute. And we're going to pretend that I've already done my sorting of my medications and things. And we're going to go ahead and start putting some of these back. First, I'm going to show you my baskets. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Sam. Glad you could join us today. So these little baskets are great. They're really inexpensive. You can get a pack of those at the dollar store. They're a really good size um, if you don't have a lot of supplements and medications. And like I said, you get like a three pack usually of those and they come in really handy. And what I like to do is I like to use 
You see, this is the standard size and you can see how it's just not quite tall enough to fit that bottle, but we can definitely fit the basket right there on top. So I like to use those. Ideally, I would have liked one that was a little bit longer that went all the way to the back of the cabinet. But when I was doing that, I had to kind of make do with what I could get my hands on. And you may have to do that as well. If you like something that looks a little bit nicer, Container Store has some great containers that you can pick up. The key here is that you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to measure. You're going to want to measure your cabinet from side to side. And if you have anything like this, you're going to want to go from this to here. And you're going to also want to go from top to bottom. If you have tall containers like this that need to go in there, you're going to want to measure your tallest container because you're going to want to be able to plan for those items and to be able to get those in there where they need to go. Ideally, we want to group like things together, but when you do get some of these larger otter things, he will go ahead and fit up there. Sometimes we have to make do and, and make use of the space that we have. And so having this shelf a little bit shorter so that I've got some space. And actually, this is the side that my pet medication is going to go on because I have pet meds as well. So... What you're going to want to do is, again, like I said, just group these medications up in a way that makes sense to you and then get them in a container. The reason I like to do the containers is, as you've seen, as I've been working in this cabinet, if it's a cabinet that's a little bit higher to reach, even one that's down lower to reach, these make great little drawers. Just pull out, you get what you need, and you can put the basket right back inside of there. And so it really is kind of a handy way to access that medication. And it keeps everything together the way you want it. So as you're going through these medications, you're going to come across some of them that are going to be expired, these prescription ones. What you want to do is if you can get the label off, go ahead and peel the label off. Sometimes I will stick those to a piece of paper and run them through my shredder. If I can't get the label off, I take a Sharpie to them and just scratch out all of the personal information on that before you discard these. So once we have our pile of medications that we're going to discard, what we want to do is if we, I'm going to post in the comments um, where you can find out if there's a drug drop off location near you. And if you have that option and you want to go ahead and do that, then you just take them down and they've got little drop boxes that you can put them right in. And it's, it's really simple. It's really easy. I do it all the time. If that option is not available to you or you don't want to go out and do that, like I said, you can throw it away in your household trash, but you don't want to just dump it in the trash. If you're going to throw a medication in the garbage, what the FDA wants you to do is they want you to mix it with something that's undesirable so people aren't going to want to be going through the trash to get it out. So coffee grounds, kitty litter, anything that's disgusting enough that you're not going to go in after medicine is what you can mix that with. Seal it up in a Ziploc bag nice and tight and then just go ahead and throw it away in your trash. They really discourage um, us from flushing medications or pouring them down the sink unless it specifically tells you to do that on the label. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are some medications that are quite potent and because the danger is so high with those, if you can't get them to a drug take back location, they prefer you to flush them. But that information should be on the um, label that comes with your medication. So this is kind of my first foray into doing um, a live video to do some organizing. And I know your space is going to take a little bit longer to go through and make all those decisions. So we're not going to be side by side the whole time, but hopefully I've given you enough information to get you started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this project and do my sorting and get everything cleaned up. 
And then I'm going to post some after pictures of the cabinet once it's all finished and put back together. And I would love it if you would post some pictures of your cabinets once you're done with your projects as well um, so that we can see the fabulous work that you've gotten done. I know with this stay at home um, social distancing orders that we've got, it's easy for little things to kind of get on our nerves and, and make us crazy. And it's also really easy to feel really chaotic and really out of control. But these little areas in our homes are someplace that we do have control over. And since we're here and we've got a little bit of time, they're small projects. They're not going to take all day. And we're able to jump in and get those handled and have some control and feel some power and some satisfaction in our day and in our life right now while things are so up in the air and crazy. So I hope you will take the time to finish this project and get it all put back together. What I would recommend doing if you don't have the bins like I showed um, that I already have some of, I need to go get some more, obviously. Go ahead and put a post-it note, group your like things together however you can for now if you want to use just whatever containers you have laying around the house if you want to put medications in a ziploc bag and label it just so everything stays together so that you can find what you need and then go ahead and put that back in the cupboard and then jump online and see like i said measure first and then see what kind of great bins you can come up with that match your budget match the aesthetic that you want for your medicine cupboard and i would love to see the results of your project. And then next week, we're gonna jump in and do another project since this was my first one. Um, it's kind of the trial project. So we'll see how we're gonna do things just a little bit differently next week with the next project, but keep your eye on Facebook and keep your eye on um, your email if you're in my email list. And we'll be announcing the next project that we're gonna be working on. We'll do these every Monday at the same time at two o'clock and i hope it's just a way for you to kind of take back a little bit of control like i said and i feel good about some of these nagging projects that haven't quite made it on the to-do list so i hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and i look forward to seeing you again next week bye